Okay, so I am out of town visiting my parents. Um, I actually came here and surprised them. They didn't even know I was coming, so it's Mother's Day weekend, so I figured why not surprise them. I was very nervous about taking the trip because I can't meal prep like I would do if I was at home and drink my water like I would do if I was at home. So I'm gonna be honest, I haven't had a chance to keep track of the whole water intake the protein intake. I haven't done none of those things. Um, but I've been trying to stay hydrated. But I haven't felt a problem, but I've done my best. I may be getting 32 ounces of water in at the most. Protein-wise, not a lot. So, you know, my two-month appointment, my two-month post-op appointment is on May, March, March, no, May 11th. And that today is uh, May 10th. And this is two months since I've had surgery. How do I feel? I feel great. I'm going to be honest with you, last week I had an apple. Let me tell you guys, that was the worst feeling I have ever experienced since surgery. That apple was too heavy for me. It was too solid. It was just too much. So I ate half of the apple in the morning and then I had half of it like five hours later. It wasn't enough for my body to push that down. I had stomach inside was burning, like burning sensation. I had to go get my nails done that day. So I was really like out of it. Like it was the worst feeling. Um, I hit a stall maybe at six weeks, but I don't really consider it a stall because we're gonna, I don't know. I just, I was stuck at a number for a long time and I'll include those clips in here too. But this video is gonna more or less talk about my Mother's Day weekend, um, all the surprises I got at the end and how thankful and grateful I was to surprise my parents and um, visit them without them knowing. So I had a really good time. I have three children. Um, I'm 42 years old, I'm 5'11", and so far I have lost a lot of weight. Am I nervous about how I'm gonna look in the future because I'm only two months post-op and I'm almost at down 55 pounds since I started the journey, but 44 down since surgery, but I'll include the correct numbers in here soon. I don't know. I'm just really happy that I feel good and I have energy and I'm just in a good place. When you're at a good place, you don't think about the bad stuff. Um, when people say, you're looking good, I'm like, thank you. I just say, thank you. I don't say, no, I'm not where I am. I don't have a goal. My goal, my ultimate goal is to run around a track one day. My and my physician never talked about numbers of where he wants me to be. He never, we never discussed that. So I don't have a number goal. I just have a long term goal and that's to be healthy, hydrated and vibrant. We all have different reasons and journeys, and this is mine. I'll be right back with some more information. Hey, YouTube. This your girl, Awesome. It's two months in surgery. Um, I'm two months post-op. I am very excited about that. I need to come back here and show y'all, tell y'all the exact numbers. Give me one second. Two month update. And these are all my scars look like. The stomach is still ugly, but hey he came with a lot of beneficial issues in life this is one incision one incision two three four so one two three four whatever you get the picture two month this is two month post-op and i'm feeling so good y'all so today is my two months in surgery, and I'm going to include this in my whole Mother's Day weekend um, format. So I've been on vacation for a few days now, and I'm going to weigh myself on a scale that I'm normally not on. But let's see what it says, and we're going to get on here together. The phone might weigh more. Let's see where it stops, y'all. Come on. I ain't down there yet. I'm tipping back. That's the right number. So this weekend, I rented a rental car and I was just feeling so good about it because I was like, it's Mother's Day weekend. You know, we're always moms or if you're good moms or if you're not able to be a mother. I love my children, but I also want to spend time with my parents and give them that um, energy. It's been a rough few years. 
and it felt good coming to visit them so i'm very pleased that i did so i did get a rental car and i was like oh this is for they y'all sending out rental cars like that so i had got a rental car for the weekend what a bet what a good way to celebrate a mother's day weekend okay um i felt good it was just a good weekend no negative vibes no negative energy i didn't have the meal prep for the household it was just about me and I needed that time from having COVID for three to four months, um, just being sick and dealing with normal life things. I deserve this moment of non-stress issues. Um, but overall, the surgery, great. I've had some issues, but your body will tell you when you cannot have something, you will not be able to eat it. And when you do eat it, you're gonna hurt. You're gonna freaking hurt. Um, today, I am weighing in at 231.8 pounds, I think. I am down total 44 something pounds. I'll put those correct numbers in. I'll put the correct information in to support what I'm telling you because I really don't know off the top of my head because I'm not reading off notes. But I will follow with you guys after my doctor's appointment and my lab work. But check out my clips. Look at my videos. Um, like, subscribe. Have any questions, let me know. I'll try to answer them the best I can. Um, from you girls, awesome toodles. Y'all stay blessed. Y'all stay well. Y'all stay healthy. And do what you want to do for yourself. Nobody else. You. Only you. <laughs> she out here. 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 She out, out, out here. Happy Mother's Day to me. Yes. So I'm about to surprise my parents this weekend. They don't even know I'm coming. They don't even know I'm in town. Whoa, I'm so nervous. <sighs> but excited at the same time. I'm walking into the door. <gasps> house. They don't even know I'm coming. They don't even know. Thank you. Thank you, best friend. Thank you for always being my best friend. Come here, buddy. You don't appreciate I me. I love you so much. When I tell you, freedom is a life. I don't have nobody saying mom this weekend. <laughs> I love my kids, but no moms. No. <laughs> All in the same room. No, my God. Is that... Is everything okay? Let me see if my back's is right, my back. Bro. <laughs> By the water. <laughs> Man, I don't know if that water. Coco. <laughs> Why does my mom have all this freaking water? And this ain't even all of it. There's five cases now. Five more cases downstairs. Mm -hmm. Ridiculous. Those aren't recyclable. Gotta put them in a the regular trash. Gotta put them in a the regular trash, Mom? Yeah, you have to put it, they won't, oh, these guys up here won't take it. He had it on top of the trash. Mm -hmm. Now, if he had hid it hidden, because they don't go through the trash, they just put the. Uh, what do you mean, hold on? This is, uh, you first got that Cavalier. Oh, photo albums. I'm keeping those. They ain't photo albums, they just lose pictures. You didn't know I was leaving that? I didn't know you was coming. I didn't know you was leaving. It was a, it was a surprise. Well, I ain't never seen her up this early. <laughs> she's she's so, asleep at one o'clock. She's so happy. She, Is she leaving? No, that she's she's up. She was wanting to go to go to stores and stuff. Mom, I'm not taking the Costco. I ain't doing Costco. But she, when we went to Walmart, she went through every ow. Like, and she was getting stuff she wasn't supposed to be getting. 
like, what? Yeah, I said, and then I bought all that other stuff. I said, what are we doing all that stuff? I don't know. I water, do whatever you want to do with it. I can walk the grass, that water. I don't want to get Okay, marriage is simple. Marriage is overrated too. It's still overrated. I don't know why. You get the same thing. You, you, you can be a significant other and still gone. So. You can be a significant other, but you won't get the benefits if you're not married, if something happens to them. What? If they have a life insurance policy or. Who will get it? It won't be the significant other. It'd be the wife. The kids can get it. Well, what about the woman? The kids, you, you are, you, your kids are you. Oh, you're right. Knowledge. Listen to that knowledge from a person that's been married for 50 years. It's overrated. <laughs> <laughs> to my mom said, <laughs> it's overrated. Thanks, it's Dad. Overrated. <laughs> Why am I not married? Because it's overrated. It's overrated. <laughs> The sun is beaming though. So here I am going to keep rambling on. I just really feel really good. It's just, I just, I don't know. You just glow different. You feel refreshed. And that's what, I, well, visiting is all about when you go home and visit. This is just me having a good time, taking pictures. And I cannot believe I am two months post op and I am down to 231.2 pounds i think down a total before surgery 90 no 50 something pounds but i'll include the actual numbers in the last live show but thank y'all for watching thank y'all for y'all support hope y'all enjoy um once again toodles stay blessed stay well and don't let nobody tell you what you need to do with you peace out and it's something about being by the water the river the wind nature it's not hot out here in Nebraska, so it felt really nice to be outside. It was pleasant, but windy as hell, that's for sure. But, you know, I took a little bit more photos than normal. I just was really feeling myself with these jeans. I couldn't fit for a while, that t-shirt. Hello to my mom. I surprised her. And just the joy of just being happy and healthy. And then my partner, he got the deck finished up, and I was so excited to see the outcome of, we repainted it, and then we um, was looking to get in a pergola, but since lumber is so expensive, we decided to go with a different way to do the um, patio furniture. So I wanted to share that with you guys, but when I saw the, the lights added to it, I was sitting there like, oh my goodness, like, I can't wait to see it in person, like, that's the patio furniture i went with this pergola and he cemented those inside of the vase and then put some moss on top of it and this is what it looks like before you see this part oh my god you got to love it you have to love it like literally it's just so peaceful looking all right you guys take care and here are my numbers jumbo wait lost